Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I'm Natalie, for those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that are coming back, it is amazing to have you here. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel as the pennies drop, then please do click that subscribe button and know that your support on my channel really does mean the absolute world to me. I also provide a variety of coaching solutions, self-study workshops, all guided around you releasing traumas, limiting beliefs, manifesting your dreams and desires to have a life that you truly love, deserve and desire. So if you'd like to find out more about that, you can click the link below. You can also find me on Instagram, TikTok and uh, Facebook. I have a free Facebook group and I have a members only YouTube channel, The Badass Manifestors Community. Again, you can find out all about that clicking the link below. Now, I do actually have a competition running currently at the moment because it is my birthday um, in a few days time by the time you get to see this video. Um, so the competition is to win my self-love workshop, the ultimate foundation to manifesting anything you desire workshop. So if you would like to be in a chance of winning, go over to, so the links are below for my Instagram page, go over to my Instagram page, it's not gonna cost you anything, just a little bit of time, and go to my most recent post, and you will see exactly what the competition is, why I'm doing the competition, and uh, what it is you have to do. Super easy to be in a chance of winning the self-love, self-concept workshop, the ultimate foundation to manifesting anything you desire. And the competition is open until midnight on Thursday, the 5th of October, 2023 UK time. So this gives you enough time to be able to do that and be in a chance of winning that. So let's get to the video. Today's video is not accepting no from your 3D reality and remaining faithful to what it is that you are desiring, whether that is a specific person, getting your ex back, new love, money, the job, the career, the body, the weight loss, the weight gain, whatever it is that you are wanting to manifest. If you keep accepting what the 3D reality is reflecting to you, which is the opposite of what you are wanting, guess what? You are only going to continue to get what it is that you are no longer wanting. It will be the circumstance, the obstacle, Maybe there's a third party. Maybe the person has said they don't want anything to do with you. Maybe you're not hearing from them. Maybe um, they moved to a different country. Doesn't matter what the circumstance is. If you are accepting no from your 3D reality, which is the opposite of what it is you're wanting, then you're only going to get more of that. So I will tag a video here, one that I recorded uh, when I was in Ibiza, uh, beginning of July, well, when I was in Ibiza in July, I'll tag it here. And this is how I manifest anything that it is that I desire. So I'll tag that here. Fundamentally, what is happening outside of you that is saying, no, you can't have what it is you want is based on your dominant beliefs. Maybe it's that you feel like you're not lovable enough or you're not chosen or you can't have that job or you're not intelligent enough or you're not smart enough or people always leave you or this is something that always happens or everything is too good to be true. Nothing lasts forever. Whatever it is, or you, you know, you can't, you're not worthy of having that money, being a millionaire, whatever it is that you're seeing out there, guess where it's coming from? In here. So. Sometimes it really does take digging really deep, especially on those days where all you're noticing out there is the opposite of what you are wanting. But you have to remember that out there is based on what has been going on in here. So when you are changing your beliefs within you, when you are changing the story to align to the version of you that you're of the experience that you're wanting, what's happening is the inner work that you're doing is going to create an inner vibration, a frequency. And it's that, you know, the feeling is the secret. When you do that dominantly enough and you keep living your life and you keep moving forwards, doing what you love, having fun, enjoying yourself, you know, whatever fun is to you, when you keep moving forwards and you keep coming back to your truth of what it is that you're wanting, remember in here is your truth out there is just a reflection of what's going on in here. 
if you're seeing still things out there that are unwanted, that are making you feel disheartened about what it is you're wanting to experience, like I said, that could be a specific person. It could be a new loving relationship. It could be getting your ex back. It could be money. It could be the job. It could be a new business. It could be whatever it is that you are wanting, that you are desiring to manifest in your outer world. What's happening out there and what's going on in here as long as you remain faithful to what's going on in here, that by law has to reflect out there. And sometimes it can take digging deep on those days where you're having those wobbles. Sometimes it can take a little bit longer. We don't want to put a timeline to these things because that can actually then cause more anxiety, you see. So if you're seeing things outside of you that are the opposite of what it is that you are wanting to experience, you need to turn away from it. You need to go within. You need to keep reminding yourself of your worth and your value through a self-love, self-healing practice. You know, like I said, I've got that competition running at the moment. Um, or if you're watching this after the, the closing date of that competition, then just go to the links below my video and have a look at all of the self-love workshops, the self-study workshops and all the offerings that I provide you to be able you, for you to be able to get the desire that you are wanting. So if you're having a wobble, you want to come within, go within, remind yourself that this, this is where you create from, whether that is you scripting, whether that is you affirming, whether that is you doing inner conversations, whether that's you listening to inner guided conversations, whether that is um, you doing intentions, whether that's you doing sats, the state akin to sleep, visualizing, whatever it is that feels right for you, you're going to want to come back to that and you hold on to that belief that everything is possible. All it takes is faith. The more you remain faithful to what's going on in here, the more you ignore, oh, <laughs> sticky love, the more you ignore what's going on out there, the more you're going to feel that inner frequency shift, the more it's going to feel natural to you, the more you're going to be less attached to the need of the desire. And whilst at the same time you're living your life, you're doing things that you love. Maybe you book a holiday. Maybe you you go out with the friends. Maybe you're going for cocktails. Maybe you're buying that new dress. Maybe you're um, going to get your nails done. Whatever it is that you want to do that makes you feel good whilst you're manifesting, do it. Do it. You have to keep moving forwards. You have to keep living your life. And at the same time, when you hear or see anything out there, remember, it's just based on an old past thought that has hardened into fact. And what you're going to want to do is just come back, remind yourself of the story of what it is you're wanting to experience and get back on it. That is it. That is old news. This is your truth. Or as I said in a video recently, that's fake news because that no longer now aligns to what it is you're wanting to experience. Now, I know that this isn't always easy to do, just seeing 1111 on the clock. I know this isn't always easy to do. I know that. Sometimes it does take really digging deep. And a couple of weeks ago, um, oh my God, I had the most horrendous wobble about something. It was awful. It was really awful. And I hadn't felt that feeling in years. What did I do? I dug deeper, I dug deeper. I isolated myself actually from the world. I spoke to my friend said, I'm just gonna go a bit ghost for now. There's nothing you've done. I love you guys to bits. I just need to do this for me. And I literally went all in on me and it didn't feel good. I didn't feel, it didn't feel pleasant, but I kept going, I kept going, I kept going, I kept going. And now things are unfolding for me. And it's going to be the same for you. You can see it as a test from the universe. You can see it as just an old thought. You can see it um, as anything that you want to see it. But it's having faith. It's having faith in you, in what it is you want. So it's saying no to what's going on out there and saying yes to what's going on in here. So however you want to tell yourself the story of, well, that's just a test from the universe. If you believe in that, if you don't, that's OK. That's just an old thought that's manifested still. But it is going to dissipate the more I do the inner work, the more I do this. And I align to the belief of having what it is that I'm wanting right now, becoming the version of you that already has that experience, that already has that desire with them 
the more you do that, the more it feels natural, the more you're raising that inner vibration, the more you're letting go, that will change because it has to by law. So when we're hearing or seeing no out there, come back, focus on you, do your affirmations, go into your self-love practice. If you're feeling triggered, that's the inner child work that you need to look at. Maybe you need to do some forgiveness, but it's affirming your worth. It's affirming your value and getting back onto the story of the desired outcome. And like I said, with faith, and you keep going. And this is what Joe Dispenza talks about all the time. The more you dig deep, the more you go in, the more you use this to align to the belief that what it is you're desiring is already yours and you remain faithful to that. Even if you have some wobbles, you keep going. It will manifest. There you go. I really hope you've enjoyed that video, guys. I think it's going to be a, it was quite a short, sweet little video. So, you know what you need to do. Dig deep. Remember, I'm no different to you. I just know that this works. So on the days if I'm wobbling, I dig deeper. Okay. Sending you all so much love. Um, please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. And I will be back very, very soon.